Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great start to the new year and enjoyed the holidays. I've got another base design for you today, which I hope you will like. Let me show you the dynasty. This base is very defendable in online raids, but also strong against offline raids, with a total of 4 unsplashable bunkers. It is a simple egg footprint, which gets expanded with a multi TC on 3 sides. The base is strong early on in a wipe and quite defendable in every building stage. Before we get into the tour, I wanted to thank you all for your support during the last year. If you like my content, I would appreciate it if you could like my video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to stay updated or need help with anything, you can join my Discord, link is in the description. And now let's get into the tour. We have disconnectable bunker TCs as always. To open them, you have to place a roof on this foundation. Inside is extra space for a battery or stash chute, whatever you prefer. The upkeep is 2k metal if it's upgraded to full metal. If you have to disconnect your TC, you simply place a square foundation and a roof on top. To reconnect the TC, you place two triangle frames, but don't forget to upgrade them. Going inside the compound, we have useful retake roof peaks on the left and right. The entrance is perfectly covered by turrets, which makes it hard for raiders to breach. There are simple triangle roof peaks to defend your compound and get rid of door campers. The large furnace is not only for smelting your ore, but also for increasing the compound raid cost in an online raid. Raiders have to destroy the furnace, which gives you some time to defend or even use 5 rockets on it. We have these classic roof peaks on each side to make sure you can keep an eye on your surroundings. They also give you a peak to defend when the compound wall is gone and prevent people from breaching in. We enter the mini china wall through a classic airlock for more security. The entrance is also covered by turrets. We have these roof peaks again on each side to defend the compound. We enter the main base from second layer. The base is three sided and got entrances on each side for better mobility. We have drop boxes above every entrance. There is enough space for all your basic loot up here. Down here is a starter base bunker. It has enough space for everything you need at the start. And it is of course fully honeycombed. To open the bunker, you have to destroy the wood foundation. I would always suggest upgrading it to wood to make sure it's not splashable from outside. Since gut bunkers aren't reliable anymore, this simple roof bunker is a good alternative for now. Sealing the bunker is also quick and simple. Just replace the roof like this. And before I show you the open core, let's talk about today's video sponsor Surfshark. Just like Rust, the internet is a playground with hidden gems and potential threats all around. Just like other players in Rust trying to get to your loot, cyber criminals on the internet are constantly attempting to steal your personal data. This brings me to something that's invaluable for my online experience, Surfshark. Surfshark is my personal choice when it comes to VPN services, as their product offers a bunch of services to protect my data, privacy and login credentials online. Whenever I use the internet, a secure VPN tunnel is established that encrypts and anonymizes my activity. Luckily, their strong and secure VPN is available on all the devices I already have, like iOS, Mac or Windows. Since I travel across Europe quite a bit, I often book flights cheaper from the airline's own country using Surfshark, as it allows me to easily change my location. Just those savings have made Surfshark well worth it for me. That's also why I'm really grateful that they have sponsored this video. Additionally, there are a lot of streaming sites like Netflix that offer vastly different content depending on your location. Since I like to watch Formula 1, I have used Surfshark to watch F1 TV, which is not available in my country. Using my promo code SURFNINI, you will get an exclusive holiday deal for up to 6 additional months free. And no worries, if you are not satisfied with their service, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee policy. Alright, let's check out the open core. The open core has everything you need and is also fully honeycombed. We have a lot of space for boxes and even for some electric furnaces. Including three unsplashable roof bunkers. You open them by placing a roof right here. There is space for two large boxes and a battery. They are super easy to build and great for offline protection or increasing rate costs in general. 
Up here we have open core retake peaks on each side. One layer up is a little bedroom area with extra space for batteries and lockers. This ladder hatch might be helpful in raids. Just stick a nade on it and open the hatch. This has been a game changer in my raid defenses multiple times. The shooting floor offers multiple angles down onto the compound with these peaks, but also some nice wide angles. This door peak is perfect for raid defenses since you can aim straight down below without getting shot from a raid base or people outside. It's also a perfect head glitch against helis. This triangle roof gives you tons of peaks below and some roof peaks as well. The roof is pretty simple, covered by turrets all around, and three vending machine bunkers if you like them. They are perfect for stashing and splitting loot, or just for more shop security. You get a great off angle from this point here, but you need the box to crouch. We also have the most simple and classic roof peaks, which I still like a lot. If you have to get down fast, just jump down like this and you won't get any damage. That's perfect for fast compound seals and raids. And now I show you how to build this base. Let's start with the starter base, which is a simple egg. Now we honeycomb the starter base. Next we build the second floor. Now we build more TTC. Build a triangle and go out 5 squares, ending with another triangle. Go back with the triangle. Go out 2 squares and end with a triangle. Go back with triangles. Now we build the external TCs. Build a wall on the left and on the right. Now we build the freehand foundation. Thank <laughs> you. 
If the gap isn't too large and the wall has 77% stability, you can upgrade the wall. Build this frame to close the gap. Now we finish the footprint. Next we put the china wall. Here we can add an airlock. Now we build the bunkers and the open core. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's a triangle frame here. Now we build the compound. Now we build the frames. Here you need to build four walls. Next step is building the shooting floor. Thank <laughs> you. 
You can choose whether you want to build windows here or not. Now we build the vending machine bunkers. And now I show you windmill and to replacement. 